Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Before I get around to reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers LCD game, let's talk about a good game. This is Ace Combat 4 on the PlayStation 2. I like to blow things up with airplanes. Therefore, I like this game. Welcome to the fictional world of Strange Real, or whatever they call it. An alternate universe version of Earth which has imported Earthling-made aircraft for the Battle of Usia. And you are the pilot known as Mobius-1. The storyline of the game is told through these cutscenes with some dialogue establishing the characters and the environment. It's a very World War II-era-inspired story, as you can tell. Our Yellow 13 bagged three more today bringing his new tally up to 64 kills. These are nicely drawn, the dialogue is acceptable, and it's kind of a sad story, but don't mistake this for a plot-driven game. You're here to blow things up with airplanes. It's Ace Combat, after all. This is widely regarded as one of the best games in Namco's popular airplane Series released in 2001 for the PlayStation 2. What you do is pretty simple, it's a straightforward game. You start out with an F4 Phantom and blow up a bunch of enemies earning points that you can then apply to buying new airplanes. Like the F-16, F-22, MiG-29, SU, whatever they are. I would say that if you've played one Ace Combat game, you've played them all, except it's not entirely true because Ace Combat Assault Horizon is trash compared to this. The fictional setting actually makes it somewhat interesting. It doesn't need a plot. Like, you know how these games are. It's just a bunch of missions that have no continuity, but they laid a plot on top of it. Interspersed with cutscenes, it gives the game a bit more depth and personality, even though it really doesn't need it. We're here for the action, and the controls and gameplay are terrific. I'm here to blow things up with airplanes, not make friends. There's a wide variety of jets to collect and sort of upgrade throughout the game. You can add new weapons and then outfit your favorite jet with your favorite assortment of bombs and missiles. The music fits the style of the game. I think it looks really good for a PlayStation 2 release. Target hit. Missile. Break. Break. As you make your way through levels in the game, you unlock new airplanes like the A-10 Thunderbolt. One of my favorites because it's the plane Cobra used. I believe there's 18 missions in Ace Combat 4 and about 20 airplanes and plenty of explosions to keep you occupied. It's a really good arcade style flight combat game. And whenever I talk about or mention the Ace Combat series, people always say, oh, I love the ones on PlayStation 2. The barkeep and his family were the real heroes. The bartender is often the real hero. Always tip your bartender. I don't believe that Namco has re-released any of these. The PS2 games could make a nice HD collection. I think there's three of them, and they're all pretty cheap and easy to collect these days. The one after this game is Ace Combat 5, and yes, I'll be reviewing that too, because my man Daniel from Hope, Idaho sent these to the show. Thank you, Daniel. There you are on the map, Hope, Idaho. I hope they make more Ace Combat games like this. Maybe next time, in addition to blowing things up with airplanes, they can add some burning people with monsters and cutting them in half. Because what game wouldn't benefit from that? After each mission, you can watch a replay and admire your quality flying and explosion creating ability. And what else can I say, Ace Combat 4? is a solid game. One that you should own if you enjoy airplane combat games. Break. Break. Enemy radar and I'd love to see the Ace Combat series return to this. 
And these kinds of games would also benefit from being released on the newer game systems like PlayStation 4. They'd look great. It looks pretty good on the PlayStation 2. Just stop messing with the formula and adding those stupid slow motion features. So, thanks again, Daniel. If you like to blow things up with airplanes, or burn people with monsters and cut them in half, I recommend Ace Combat 4. Watch for my review of Ace Combat 5. Thanks again, Daniel, and I'll see you next time on Classic Game Room. <laughs>